Hello everyone and welcome to Gaming Friday on Off The Shelf Reviews. I'm Gary. And I'm Jeff. And Jeff, today I am introducing to you Turok, Dinosaur Hunter. Yeah. Another blast classic. from the past. An yeah. absolute classic. This game spawned its own franchise. Well, it didn't actually start with this game though. Although this game was released way back early 1997 by Acclaim Entertainment and Iguana Entertainment. And it was released on the Nintendo 64 and mm -hmm. on PCs. So but it wasn't... Monkey. This is not an original property before before it came to yeah. the, the Nintendo and, <laughs> <laughs> and to PC. It was actually a comic Ooh. book, a graphic novel. Really? It was. Uh, that's, I mean, isn't that where most things start these days? You, you watch a film or you play a game, you're like, well, this I, is cool, I, I, and then I'm you realise it's been running for 60 years in graphic novel I, form. I, I, admittedly, I'm not the biggest uh, comic geek, but I, and, and please don't anybody kill me for saying comics, but... Uh, yeah. Those funny books, Jeff. Is that is that what they are? Those funny books. Gra graphic novels. I understand. <laughs> Kids read them, you? don't yeah, they? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, I've never heard of Turok, the the, the, the graphic novel. No, I. Uh, it, it became more key. popular <laughs> after. <laughs> nice. It became more popular after the release of of this game. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I mean, the Nintendo sixty four was wasn't very out sense. for very long. Nintendo uh, 64, was it on the Nintendo 64 first or was it, it PC it, first? It, it came to PC and Nintendo both at the same time. Um, oh, gee, I'm running now. But this game actually bolstered the sales of the N64. It sold one and a half million copies and this game actually was a console seller for the N Nintendo 64. No. Along with GoldenEye, which Sweet. was obviously released the exact same yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I played a lot of GoldenEye, but I never played this. So uh, this is this is better than GoldenEye, blatantly. Um, I, I, I'll be, I'll, I'm gonna ha trade in my uh, my gaming card right now, Jeff, and say, <laughs> fuck GoldenEye. <laughs> I hated GoldenEye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I played it. I played it when it came out. I remember the first time I got my hands on the N64. 64 controller yeah. and I didn't like the controller and I didn't like the game it, I didn't like the shooting mechanic I didn't like the one analog stick yeah I mean I'll get, don't get me wrong I've like it was innovative D uh, yeah it, I'll, I'll and, give you that and probably is the inspiration for the way controllers are today but yeah, yeah. I mean it was different but didn't quite work did it yeah it was and, and for GoldenEye, when you, if you ever go back and play GoldenEye on a 64, it is just like, oh my god, yeah. how did I ever control this? This is so awkward. <laughs> it just feels so flighty. I don't know. Uh, but then at the same oh, this time, awesome. this, this, this was the same I year got... that Quake 2 also came out. And that Quake there two? is. Cool. This is the same year that, uh, yeah, Quake 2 came out. So GoldenEye was a bit before this then, wasn't it? It must be. Uh, well, like I said, this was early 1997. GoldenEye was the same year. I'm not really? sure the exact date on it, but it was the exact same year. So Quake 2 was way more advanced than GoldenEye, wasn't it? It like, was, yeah. but then Quake, I'm pretty sure, was only on consoles. Oh, only, yeah, sorry, only, only on, on PCs. PCs yeah. yeah, yeah. I guess it was. Yeah, it must have been a big spread because I was a huge Quake 2 fan. I massively got into Quake 2. Oh, uh, you missed the shotgun, Jeff. I'm going to go back. Go back. <laughs> uh, but also the same year was uh, Tomb Raider 2, I believe. Uh, yeah. Tekken 3. And one of my other... Fate, going back to first person shooters of 97 was Blood uh, oh. which I'm hoping to get to on another Gaming Friday somewhere down the line because that was just one of my favourite shooters Whoa, of all time Whoa, I think you found a secret level. area uh, it's time to go in oh be careful of those traps what's going on so, yeah, this, so this game is a bizarre mix of, of guns, got, got dinosaurs, a... saw blade traps. And some weird other dimension. <laughs> ah, got me anyway. I'm just going to run Careful, you're it. getting sliced ah, and diced. Ah, ah, you're taking some damage. Ah. Okay, it's alright, Tor Torek can take a beating. Oh, I, well, changed my he... I changed my space button from my jump button to a shift button. Now I've just got to get used to my old school school style of jumping right yep back to um, keyboard and mouse this game is a horrific platformer I i'll tell you now jeff of yeah, all jumping of puzzles. all the 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 turok games and i've played i played about four of them oh, i can get there yeah uh i never completed any of them oh really brutally difficult really brutally difficult games i think i mean i've come back and, and played this one recently for this video just as a just as a quick test play and i was like it doesn't feel as difficult now as it did back then. <laughs> yeah. But I remember the later levels being really, really cruel. 
Really? Uh, the enemies being so tough and these platforming sections. Jump and die. You've only got three lives. It's over. What's happened here? Oh. It does have save point system, yes, I know, but uh, <laughs> my frustration levels. Me into some weird... Have you gotten stuck? <laughs> yeah, You've gotten I have. stuck. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Uh, oh, you, you're oh, through. There we go. I'm through. It dropped <laughs> me. I didn't get that, but I don't think I need it. I'm getting out of it. Oh, that was weird. Well, that was slightly different. Yeah. Just broke up your day there a little bit, Torog. <laughs> It's nice, just went to another dimension. So the main gist of, of Turok is that he's got to stop the evil campaigner. Right. Who is trying to conquer the universe. Yeah, because so far all I've done is shoot a dinosaur and then some dudes. So like, Well, they um, all they, what, the, the, those, those dudes work for the evil campaigner, yeah? Right. And he's going to try and conquer the universe with this ancient and powerful weapon when he gets his hands on it. He's going to conquer the universe. Yeah, that and you need bad. to stop him. Uh, Turok, I, as you've probably realised from the from the introduction, is a Native American, and yeah. he's also a time traveller. Right. Uh, he's a time travelling warrior, but and he has got the mantle of Turok, so he's not the first Turok, that, and he's also yeah. not the last Turok because the mantle of Turok gets passed down through generation after generation of trying to stop so the evil ones. Turok's like a title, is it? It's like it is, uh... yeah. Like, judge. It or... basically means once you're Turok, you are given the responsibility of defending the barrier between Earth and the Lost Land. Nice. And nice. So uh, the, the, the Lost Land, what, being this ancient world thing where I'm in? Pretty much, yes. And with it also being uh, other universes and time travel, you get a mixture of technologies and creatures and of course, so the what the game's thing. most n most memorable for is dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah. So the, um, the like this lost land thing. Then is it um, is it I, I don't know. Is it still Earth, or is it just another dimension of Earth, or? Uh, you have to keep playing to find out, Jeff, ah, because I don't know the answer. Losers, is it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're testing my memory of, of Turok, and across all of the games, I, I couldn't tell you because I know that, I know in the other games you do play different Turoks and the different things that are going on. Uh, the yeah, I lo I'd lost the plot <laughs> essentially. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you that my favourite Turok game was Turok Evolution. I got a key there, no way to And that was back on the original yeah. Xbox back in two thousand and eight. Yeah. So it's been it's been a good what five six seven years since uh, since I've played a good Turok game. I've been this way, so. I and I'm telling you, it, now way. is a really good time to release a new Turok game. Uh, uh, whoever now owns the rights to, to Turok, yeah. uh, they need to to get on it because dinosaurs are popular it. again. Yeah, dinosaurs are back. Everybody's playing that arc, aren't they? Everyone's playing arc. Everyone, and I mean literally everyone, has been to see Jurassic World. Yeah. Uh, dinosaurs rule the earth once more. So Turok, here's your chance. Come now's the time to come back. Dinosaurs are cool again. Right, I come back to here now. What do I do? Come on. There's got to be... It's very rare right. you get a Native American a central key. character as well. There hasn't been one, to my memory, since Prey. Yeah, that's a good point, actually, yeah. It's not very often minorities in general in uh, a lot of our Western games get to be the lead. Uh, it's as true, it's as true, which it's refreshing uh, as to have something different. Unfortunately, he, although he is a different ethnic character he's still doing the exact same things as duke nukem doom guy master chief <laughs> you know yeah he's, he's still a bland faceless kind of <laughs> yeah so i've come down here i've picked this thing up now i've got to where that where do i go gary i'm going around and around you've got to go and collect all the keys yeah so that when you get off this level and you get to sort of the the hub world you can trade in there. all these keys to go to the other levels. And I think there is like seven, eight, or maybe even uh -huh. nine other worlds you can go to. So I've got maybe the exit's got to be up here. It's got to be up here. I don't know how many keys you've collected so far. But usually where there's enemies is usually the... Oh, uh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. there we go. So you kill some velociraptor-looking dinosaurs. You also, I mean, this game came out after Jurassic Park, but it was... Uh, 97 was the same year that uh, The Lost World, the Jurassic Park sequel, came out. 
the same yeah. year as this film. So I guess this uh, film was already riding off the back of success and dinosaurs. Dinosaurs were just in the zeitgeist at the time. Exactly, yeah. Which would have also made this incredibly popular. Yeah, so I mean, I think... Yeah, I'd like to see a modern day version of this, although... I don't know what 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 they do like really like we've had our fair share fill of just sort of run of the mill shooters, haven't we? Like, be hard. yeah, they get they get pretty generic. It's yeah. just their their locations that I guess that keep it interesting, or or the or the story as it envelops. I guess you could have it so you're riding dinosaurs, but even then you. It, it would be risking just falling into the realms of gimmicky, wouldn't it? I mean, this was cool at its time because the mechanics were like fresh, different. It was taking it you somewhere. Had vert, you, you could look up and down. You had yeah, the vert look cast. up and down. Yeah. You got the strafing left and right. I mean, this is like Quake. This is where you strafe faster than you run forward. So clearly, <laughs> you can like strafe jump yeah. easier than you can. Uh... I, I don't always recommend strafe jumping. Jumping <laughs> sideways kind of seems. You've missed all those power-ups. Yeah, I would have granted it. you an extra life. Well, I'm going to go back down again. You, you do take no fall damage, so and you managed to luckily uh, yeah. grappling hook back on there. So oh, now we get an interesting... Hey, got explosive barriers. Oh, you got me. These are like oh, genetically yeah. modified dinosaurs yeah, from, well, from Jurassic World. <laughs> it's like that's a, like an ogre. It's like an ogre slash orc. Look at his... Look at his oh, <laughs> As it, they yeah, melt away. evaporating. Oh, it's clearly evaporated not Evaporated back enough. through time. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, no, it can't handle the memory of the bodies. It's just got to evaporate away. Nope. Good old days. The uh, good old so days. Look at these textures, though. Yeah. Look. It's, it's <laughs> they're not textures, it's just Jeff. just about a they're, texture. They're, they're <laughs> just about. It's just a mess. <laughs> An absolute horrid mess. Um, but it's, it, it's something for its time. I mean, we, we mentioned earlier when we were taking a quick look at the game, the draw distance of this game. It uh, yeah, leaves a lot sure, to be desired it? for, and also lets you believe that looking up, that the cloud is just like, you can reach up and things. touch it. <laughs> uh, I'm in the fucking other world. It's, it's the same, the same place. place. Oh dear. I don't know what you've done, so Jeff. I'm going. I'm going back <laughs> out again. Uh, die. Yeah, uh, so this, was this a, do you know if this was a console port from the N64? Or was this a PC game first, which then uh, they sort of stripped down to get onto the N64? I think it was probably a PC game that they stripped down to get onto the N64, because I remember the N64 version not looking as pretty as the PC version. Right. Uh, which was which is a good way to judge it, and there, uh, there was your first death. But it's okay, because uh, you have sands of time and everything. <laughs> We'll just My send back a new right Turok back, from yeah. from another world, from another yeah. time. Look at him. That's oh, do the that's little gym I guess that yeah. was pretty advanced for the time as well, that kind of ragdoll physics. Indeed, indeed. And speaking of ragdoll physics, I do love the, the killing enemies in this game. Uh, and, I, and I have done in every Turok game, is that sometimes you can shoot an enemy in the neck and, the, and, and, like, and yeah. the, they'll gargle and slowly die. <laughs> Uh, yeah. In the other Turok games that I remember, especially the one I mentioned earlier, Turok Evolution, there was like poison darts, explosive darts. Uh, there was darts that made enemies fight other enemies. There were darts that made enemies' heads explode. So there was just <laughs> such a versatile way of killing enemies. The results the same, dead enemy. Yeah. But just it just kept you. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It just kept things humorous. There's different ways you could off people, and that's why that was one of the things I always remembered about the Turok games. Because all the guns, mostly pretty straightforward. Yeah, there, there he goes. There yeah. He goes. Yeah, uh. He's... <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, some of the inventive weapons that they, they came up with in the later yeah. Turok games were, were fantastic. Uh, although in this one, it's pretty generic. Uh, pistol, shotgun, assault rifle, grenade launcher, uh, dagger, crossbow. And you do get some explosive variations of the same weapons yeah I, I can't remember beyond that what are the weapons you get in this original game well when i was looking at the options to change my controls to wasd it, they had, they had uh, going all the way up to like uh, backspace was changing weapons like 14 different weapons so so, uh, so at least there is a nice and, a nice and, variety and still one, one was called a chrono scepter which sounded interesting <laughs> yep well I, I, I can't actually remember what that what that weapon does okay it's uh, tantalizing to know isn't it it yeah. is it's just like well maybe i will go back and replay turok so yeah. i can say that i did actually finish a <laughs> turok game 
<laughs> this is the this is the very first one, so I guess it's going to be the graphically least impressive. But in many ways, yeah. this reminds me a lot of Doom. Doom's still fun. Yeah, and, despite uh, its limitations in graphics. Yeah, and it, it's a slightly more advanced version. Like it's it's more three dimensional. It's it's a bit, bit better than Doom. Yeah. So I just feel uh, there's a more of an open environment than than in Doom. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. The AI is not like gonna wow you. There are moments where, where we've had here where they just sort of they stood just stand there. there. And let me shoot them. Yeah. Although I think this is normal difficulty. I don't know what difference the difficulty makes. I don't think there's an easy difficulty. I think there's normal, hard, and uh, and Turok. <laughs> ah, sweet. So uh, this just might be good fun still to play, and maybe even a do good challenge. Like, yeah. If if you can through. tolerate platform jumping in first person shooters, which I will tell you now, I cannot. Yeah. I'm done with it. I'm done annoying. with platforming and jumpers. I'm pretty much done with platformers. I'm telling you. Yeah. Because. Jumping and falling to my death, I've done so many times, I just, I just can't, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I get so frustrated. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of... Kill the monkeys! Shoot the monkeys, Jeff! They, they will not let you shoot these monkeys. Oh, they're going to go and tell you their mates. Stab them, you can't shoot them. <laughs> The, 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 I, I, it's too to be. Hey, <laughs> almost, you almost got the jump on you. Eat it, eat it, eat yeah. lead, eat it, and a big jump. So we got another key. Got a key. <laughs> a level two key. Got somebody popped in behind me as well. You can hear people like spawning in. Well, that, that's the thing with this game is that th there are only a few sound effects. And they use the exact same sound effect <laughs> over and over and over again. Like 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 the, the sound effect when you're in the water is just a single splash yeah. sound. Yet they use that sound on repeat as you move through the water, and it it's kind of jarring. But yeah. it, it's cave. Tol it's tolerable. Look at the cave that you can tell you're in a cave because it's got triangles it's got pointing out of it. Oh, yeah, yeah. They look more like teeth than they do stalagmites yeah, they and stalactites. Do. I'm going into the jaws. <laughs> jaws of yep. hell. Filled with these. Well, uh, now I can shoot the monkeys. Rabid these are monkeys. Eagle monkeys. Yeah. yeah. They're like miniature versions of the hunters from, from Resident Evil. Or the, the lickers. Uh, they're not quite as <laughs> scary. Not quite as scary, no. Lickers were made me shit myself. Like, ah! <laughs> yeah, because you know if you didn't kill them, you're dead. Yeah. These are I'm I'm a lot more badass than uh than, yep. than the characters in Resident Evil. Yeah, you're a time traveling warrior. I yeah. mean, it doesn't get much more badass than that. And I can move faster than any other human can. Although this was pretty badass. Uh, oh, no, nah. two shots left. Still got no nothing uh, to my I'm traveling in through time or traveling through parallel worlds. Yeah, they're just spawning in. Just keep coming. Looks like I'm yeah, sure there's certain areas where the enemies just do are on an infinite spawn area, like this cave. I'm pretty sure there's just an just infinite spawning monkey. Yeah. Infinite spawning monkey. <laughs> So, but I mean, this game's uh, there's plenty to explore. There's secrets on every level. Uh, you can always access like special bonus weapons ahead of time, so that clearing other levels becomes a lot easier. Yeah. But it's also so easy to get lost in this game because there's no there's no map marker. Um, you might want to take that. Spiritual invincibility. See, Turok calls it spiritual invincibility. I call it LSD. Yeah. I call it mushrooms. What? This is like, <laughs> woo. See, Far Cry 3 thought they were ahead of the curve by uh, by going, yeah, you can take mushrooms and get fucked up. <laughs> ah, Turok was way ahead. Yeah. Taking drugs. I mean, what's going on with the sky? This is, this is some pretty badass version of Ayahuasca or something. It pretty much slowing down time right now so that everything is just fodder for you. I see clearly. <laughs> right. Well, um, that's interesting. So now where am I? I've got oh, there's things up there. Yep, looks like more jumping. Hooray. <laughs> Let's just check every nook and cranny for out there. Bad guys. Ammo. So yeah, combat's pretty simple. The aiming, I mean, there's no crosshair on the screen, but as long as you're, you've it's, got the enemy all, pretty much. It's auto aiming for yeah. me. Yeah, it's not. Uh, there's no. Uh, I just got to point the thing in the general direction ah, and pull the thing. trigger. Yeah. Let's see how much ammo I've got. I got 99 bullets. Ah, uh, it's plenty. Right, so I went up there, then I come this way. It starts to feel slightly vomit-inducing at the speed that it goes at with such the low 
<laughs> little textures on everything. It's yeah, just like, it Whoa, is really which... like. Bruh. And with the small sh- uh, draw distance, it makes it very hard to tell if you if I'm if you've just spun around and done a 180, and I can't tell the difference if you've done a 360 <laughs> or not. I'm like, um... I'm on quite a big screen as well, so it's sort of taking up our whole view. Yeah, and then it's like, Whoa. <laughs> yeah, you're, um, you're but in for the ride. I, I heard that for, for most most fans of Turok, I think Turok Two was the preferred preferred favorite of the entire series so i'm guessing what year did two or two come out do you have any idea i'm not sure i think i don't think it was many years i don't think it was that many years later because i, don't I know that there's take... six sequels I to this game i don't think it would take much of oh, oh. The wrong button i don't think it would take much of a graphical upgrade to uh make this quite a lot cooler yeah i, mean, I, I don't actually know what happened to iguana entertainment i I'm pretty sure they were there for some of the sequels, but uh, uh, obviously they... They, they didn't do the lot then. They went the way of the dodo, same as Acclaim Entertainment. Right. So who's got the license now then, do you That's know? That's a very good That's question. That's a very good question. Uh, who, who has the rights? Did, did because you... obviously it was an original property of, of the graphic novel or the comic series, uh, and I'm not sure what happened to, to the rights of that long gone company either so the comic's dead now as well then the comic's Ooh, dead the franchise now. is dead the studios are dead I, always lose. I mean they i mean obviously it, it changed hands several Pretty times because it, i don't think it was a claim or a guana that was working on it back in 2008 i could be wrong uh, but i don't think it was them mm. health can i get it don't need the it? health I think you can hold your breath indefinitely as well, even though he gasps for air. <laughs> really? <laughs> as he so reaches the surface. There's no, uh, no uh, oxygen meter, I didn't notice. I didn't see an oxygen meter, so I was just going to get... I'm pretty sure the other Torah games introduced ah. the oxygen meter. That ah, scarab beetle, giant beetle. Yeah. What is this, the mummy? <laughs> Uh, there, there are some bizarre <laughs> and interesting monster types in this game. I mean, Jurassic you also get mummy. armored armored soldiers, big soldiers with the different yeah. weapons. Nope, uh, there's another cave. Monkey. I think there's a key in here, though. Pew! I think one of the keys you might be after is down here. Uh, eat the, it. Uh, oh, there we go, on your right. Hey! We got Gibbs! Nice. <laughs> nice. You can actually blow stuff right it's up. It's like, what is it? What is it? It's a big m- object of some kind. Just hold on to this for later. Well, clearly, I'm supposed to go down here, aren't I? Clearly, yeah. The teleport will take you somewhere else, but uh, you, you always know to go and explore the other off the beaten path. Oh, there's monkeys down here. Yep, yeah, you're gonna be limited to slash damage only down here. Uh, he's slashing me. You, you can get him. You can get him. It's just an evil monkey. Fuck this. He's chasing me. He's chasing <laughs> me. Come get it. Come get it. Yeah, eat it. Nice. Eat explosive it. rounds. Oh, straight to the face. Where did he come from? Behind me. Just spawning in again. Spawning in. Now I'm going. Now I'm going for my prize. What's it gonna be? What's down here? An- More monkeys. Another no! dead monkey. Oh, I can get up here. Yeah. Okay. All the weapons don't work underwater, but you just get to the surface and bam. Bam. Except this doesn't work. It's not working right uh, now. Nope. Back to the pistol. Oh, pistol yep. works. So yeah, I mean this game had a. Uh, oh yeah. Rifle. Nice. Dun, 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 Assault dun, dun, rifle dun. and ammo. Oh, I, I think that, that gives you. I think that's a full ammo clip oh, as well. Oh yeah. Nice. I don't know if it uses the same ammo as the pistols. Oh yeah, it does. Okay. And it does. It's just the bullets, same bullets. Pretty sure. Yeah. There's the shells. There's the bullets. Sweet. So I mean, already. I mean, this is stage one, and already you've kind of gone through quite a lot of the weapons. I mean, they're all the basic yeah, ones got, right now. Quite a few of them already. Yeah. There's this. As I say, I think there's 14 weapons. So. Yeah. Uh, I still think there's plenty to see. Yeah, they've, they've dished out quite a few pretty early, haven't they? Ah, eat it. Ooh, that's a checkpoint, isn't it? Yep, yeah, checkpoint that. system. So if you die, you'll come back. Get my health. But yeah, I mean, some of the other the um, turret uh, games are, are also brutally difficult. And this is uh, I'm pretty sure there are cheat codes for some of the earlier earlier Turok games. I think even on some of the later ones, there were cheat codes as well. 
this was back in the day before achievements existed. But yeah. uh, I think cheat codes were just yeah, there to, to give you level selects and different weapons and, uh, uh, and then eventually full health armor lives. I think cheat codes was on the main menu, isn't it? I think, yeah, cheat codes were built into the game, so it was not something that you were breaking, no. technically. It just it was just a case of buying your Game Informer magazine at the time, yeah. your Games Master magazine, and hoping it's got those cheat codes in one of those books that they've bundled with it. It's funny, isn't it? It was back <laughs> in the day when... Uh, developers like testing yep. <laughs> modes were well, like then well, speaking of back in the day i mean this game it came out in a time where sort of before or around parental guideline in video games was sort of deciding what to do and whether there should be realistic looking blood and gore effects in video yeah, games yeah. so this game has an age filter where i mean this still appears in in games today well, you can change the color of the blood. Yeah, yeah, that's it. From I, red did, to green we did to blue we did to fountain colors. We? And, uh, yeah. we did Carmageddon and they were blatantly, yeah, they, like, they yeah. were like, oh, it's no, it's zombies and green yeah. blood. You can't have the red blood. Yeah. Yeah, so this was all about that taboo <laughs> sort of time. But you just got to think, if, if I, mean, I, I, I mean, back in the day when I was playing this, I don't know how old I was then. I'm not going to do the maths again. Um, but it was like, why would I turn the blood? color from red to anything else unless i just wanted to have a giggle at seeing different uh, the wrong colored blood yeah but uh, you know even when i was playing it back then i didn't think oh red blood oh this is horrible this is gory yeah that's it i mean i don't know i mean the graphics as well were not even good enough to be like <laughs> like you think now how things have evolved and yet the graphics so are so much worse and so much better yeah. we're getting to the point where they can model like individual intestines so that as stuff blows yep, up we've seen you, with you, the latest imagery of doom 4 yeah the uh the the grotesqueness of, yeah. of murder yeah. oh sorry i'm gonna just rephrase that to the poetry of <laughs> obliterating your enemies yeah uh just of course ghost is. of bethesda for super gibbing and yeah. uh the fallout messy <laughs> <laughs> messy perks yeah the messy perks yeah. you know so like oh, it's, it's funny really but <laughs> You know, I guess everybody's got to have their their little tantrums about things that they find to be for a bit. Yeah. Until they realise, you know, it's just just imagination. Yep. This is cool, though. But it's I, still I, fun. It's still it's something just... satisfying about just yeah. popping these, these these stupid soldiers, and it's it's that same sound effect. I actually like hearing that sound effect of them dying. There's something it's quite enjoyable rewarding. about this. It's you know, like it's. I mean, maybe it's just my age because it's a throwback to a time when I was. Used and of to, course, you never got you know, to play Turok. And I never got to play Turok. It's a big like hole in my gaming history. Yeah. Uh, you know, I loved Quake and Quake Two, and it is very reminiscent of that in the way. Well, it's sort of, faith. <laughs> it is very reminiscent of that in the way it controls. I don't want to waste the ammo. Uh, uh, but yes, yeah, so, so I mean, I I am thoroughly enjoying it. I mean, the graphics are clunky, but so do you, you think know, you you, right, you tempted to go and explore time. the rest of the game once once we've packed away the microphone and put everything away? And I'm like, Jeff, you don't have to play Torque anymore. You, you you tempted to go and see what else this game's got in store? Yeah, definitely. I'm I'm not gonna get this off my computer. I think I'm gonna you know like I. Uh, I'll uh, keep hold of this and it'll go into my list. I always of find games playing these play. games refreshing from playing all those other shooters after a while because you just want to come come back to something that's pretty simplistic that's not not going to burden your brain. Yeah. Uh, it's just something you can just pick up and play. It's almost disposable. And of course, you can download this game for free now on the internet. You don't have to use torrents or anything like that. Yeah, I mean it, it, it's a band it, it's abandoned where. Yeah. So yeah, like like it's an abandoned property this game. So there's no stopping anyone going out there and just getting this game and playing it now and yeah. rediscovering Turok in its origins. Yeah, and then I definitely recommend people do that because I mean for, for what is essentially, you know, free. It's a shame that this license is is dead, you know, like at the moment, but Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a nice slice of history, definitely, and there's some really good level design here, and you can see how this has been influenced by games that were around at the time, but you can also see how this, you know, like, took all that and made something that was really, really, yeah. like, special for the time out of it, you know? Yeah. This is definitely, a, like, a big kind of epic scale 
first person shooter when you think about goldeneye which was very cool yeah goldeneye had yeah. the bond license i won't disagree i mean even though i said I, I don't like it i will acknowledge that it is one of the best games yeah made. it's just my personal preference it, it's i didn't the, like it it's the license it's the real guns it's the fact there was nothing like it at the time you had that yeah. damn level there were yeah. really great little iconic set, moments set in the film pieces. as well yeah iconic which were set up for you yeah. by the film really like yeah. thematically by the film but um yeah like this is this is still pretty good like this has got some decent again it's more more akin to quake and quake 2 than it is to yep so just as we close we out go. the video There's i can just explain gate. to those that are watching that you have pretty much just come to the hub area yeah. and this is where each one of these around. portal gates will take you to one of the uh, different levels and of course you can bounce in and out of different stages and complete them all gradually as you go collecting different keys to open the different doors so yeah that's this is pretty cool i'm, I'm gonna save my game here actually i think and uh and uh, and, and, I will and continue actually, on yeah we'll nice. actually continue on another time well i just want to thank everyone for watching us this gaming friday uh we'll be back next friday with another video game uh, in the meantime, we've got film reviews going up on Thursdays and sequential gaming going up on Saturdays. Uh, you can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and if you'd like to show that extra little bit of support, you can join us on Patreon. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time. Yeah, take it easy, guys. Yeah. See you later. Jeff, Jeff, I think I think everyone's gone. I think we've left it long enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, right now now we're gonna now now that no one's watching yeah we don't have to worry about embarrassing ourselves yep. and humiliating ourselves completely yep. as we we're gonna give this thing a go we're, we? we're gonna give uh contra hard corpse a go <sighs> yeah I, okay I, I i've not played contra in a long 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 time and right. I, I am. I've not played it at all. You never played Contra at not, all. Not really. Wow, no. So this is really an educational day for you today, I, Jeff. I, I, I saw you. You know, you showed me a video of it uh, a couple of days ago, and I thought it was. Bonkers. I, I, I hope you're topped up on coffee, uh, caffeine pills, uh, some Red Bulls in there, because. Uh, <laughs> It's gonna, about to hit the fan. It looks like I'm going to have to get pretty pretty sharp, pretty hyped. Indeed, indeed. Oh. This, this game is going to go at 100 miles an hour. Yeah, and uh, I can be you hit by anything. Lady. I'm going to be the sexy lady. Okay, and I'm going to be this, Sheena. this brownie Sheena. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is going on? This screen is an filled with man. stuff. An an man We've got, got an angry man, man with a grey beard. The there's, there's, there's techno blips and, and scans. and Yeah, right, so this is Japanese, right? Uh, it, it's um, uh, who was it? Is it Konami? That that wonderful yeah. games company that makes so many wonderful uh, games. This well, is, this uh, is Konami uh, when Konami was good. Though. Well, this was Konami bef before. Yeah, before. Uh, yeah, yeah. Konami was good at this time. Bah. The Konami was good at this time. <laughs> okay, so 100 miles an hour. We just got to. Oh, I've taken the first hit. Oh my god. Uh, what? You're dead already? Uh, I've, I've dead taken it. How did I die? Oh, no, I'm just. God damn it! I think I'm dead already. Oh shit! I can't even see where we are. Everything's uh, blinking and there's yeah. bullets it's coming at the screen. Uh, Keep uh, moving to the right, Jeff. I'm dead. Trying, trying. I'm totally dead. I uh, can't believe uh, it. Uh, I, uh, I'm totally uh, dead. <laughs> uh, you're, you're dead. Uh, am I totally dead? I'm <laughs> no, not totally no. Dead. You still got some hits left. Uh, uh, oh, but, <laughs> what? <laughs> Game over. So how long do we last, folks? <laughs> we'll catch you next time. <laughs> oh my god. All right, let's god. continue. Fuck it. Try it oh again. Oh my god. Try it again. That was was that was awful. That is. What is going on? I, I'd like you to can't thank, even see uh, what's going on on the screen most of the time. It's just like. <laughs> Look at it. It's just like shaking around. And shaking. And you're flashing and everything. I know. Every time, every time I'm flashing, I'm like, "What's going on?" And I can't see where I am anymore. I'm too small. I'm just a uh, fucking tiny uh, turd. Die. You're, why are you so small? Why are you such a I'm, dinky I'm a, little I'm, robot? I'm, I'm, I'm a munchkin trapped in a robot suit. Uh, but that would die a lot quicker then. What? Uh, keep keep moving. Just oh, gonna keep moving. Like gonna keep. Yeah. God damn it! Ah, I died. Just keep the power up. Right, I got power, the, I got the, got the weapons. Power. I got some weapons. Right, right. nothing's gonna hit me now. Nothing's gonna hit me now. Just gonna kill everyone no. before it gets on screen. Oh, jump, jump. That's it. This thing's just gonna, gotta, just yeah. gotta be, just gotta keep moving. You can't keep still. When needs be, you just gotta duck down. Whoa. 
It's okay, I got that one. I got automatic hits with these, these shots right now. Oh, nice. Oh, look. Fucking hell. Yeah, What's ground, going on the ground's breaking up, and I'm looking at the wrong character, and yeah. now I'm stuck in the graphics. I'm cut out. <laughs> oh, I'm just stuck in the graphics again. Oh, I'm cut out. Uh, I'm so used to playing as the female character. Oh, what did I just get there? What's that? Uh, you bomb? Can, that's a bomb you can drop down. Yeah. I only got one. You've only got the one. Oh, shit. So you want to use that sparingly, or yeah. just use it before you die? Ah. Oh, what? I, I jumped over it and it kind of came back, and now ah, I'm dead. I can't get out of the way. Ah. Bugger. Game fucking over. <laughs> it spawned me on it. I couldn't get away from it. <laughs> ah. Guys, if you're hoping to see an entire video playthrough of this, it's it's not. It's it's There's just. There's no fucking way. <laughs> There's you, just no fucking way. This is this is a coin eater. If if you're playing this in the arcades, you, you know you you you're spent. Oh uh, yeah, arcade game. Yeah, yeah. I see why this is like this. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, releasing it for the whole. I mean, I think this game's like four levels long. So you know, it's it's a case of mastering, oh. mastering these levels. Oh, uh, 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 go, go learning down, learning where the safe Boom. spots are. Yeah. And and learning how to defeat the bosses by continually yeah. replaying the levels until until you can basically get through the whole game without taking a hit. Because oh, yeah, I, I, the I, legs kill you. I, I've I've seen a guy on the internet play play this game and he he yeah, he obliterated the whole game. <laughs> Do you reckon he's probably got good at it when it was the arcade version? Probably, That's and just bomb. and just played it over and over. So it's just me left standing. Yeah, Thanks, but I can press start. So no, don't do don't that. do it. You'll you'll end up taking one of my lives. <laughs> I keep my lives. Just gonna kill this thing. And you then you oh. fucking like auto aim on that thing. It's a good weapon. Ah, <laughs> what? I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Oh. I've lost all my weapons well, though. I, I, just, well, I guess I just. Should I just press start? This is like Robocop in. versus Terminator. Yeah, you can spawn back in if you I'm can. Just spawn back yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah, that's let's select there yeah. again. So uh, we got to the the we're not even at the stage one boss yet. This is like the sub boss. And he's pr pretty easy. This guy. Yeah. What we're gonna do is stay right where we are. Come on, come on. Got to stay As right he just where we jumps are. down. We'll now stay he's stay here. Yeah. And he's gonna climb the building, like the old stage right. boss Marmalade Man. Now shoot him in the eye. Shoot him. Ah, shoot him right. in the eye. Ah. Shoot him in the eye. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Keep shooting him in the eye. Oh, that's sweet. Ah, he didn't even get to chuck any cars at us. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Doing good. Doing good. Oh, I want a gun. And, and what's that? Uh, what did I get? Oh, I got a laser. Laser. Oh, what the, the hell? The oh, I just used that? the bomb by mistake. I'm no, such an idiot. Yeah, I did. I oh. used my bomb. Oh, oops. Okay, uh, jump. Right. Oh, shit. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Jump. And get over this side. What are you uh, doing on that side? I don't know. i come to that side. Uh, which, which side are you going? Alright, ready. Yeah. Three, two, uh, one. Jump. Jump. Oh, what the ah! fuck? <laughs> Jump right for it. I'm dead. It's all on you, Jeff. It's all oh, on you. No. Go for you it. Press start again. No. No. No uh, spawns. Uh, it's just you uh, and the stage one boss. Uh, it's a giant great. robot that that uh, cranky brilliant. old man was telling us about at the beginning of the video. Brilliant. Or the beginning flash screen. Mm. Oh, you got a laser gun. Got yeah. A laser gun. Good luck. Good luck with that laser gun. Mm, yeah. Thanks. That's not an unmanned, unarmed, uh, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm it's, a car, it's a car ah, killer. It's gonna fucking uh, kill me immediately. Yeah. You just jump straight into my fucking face. <sighs> God <laughs> damn it. What? Right, back to, yeah, Brownie, get back here. Uh, no, oh, no, no you're, you're Sheena. You could, you could have I, been I Altered Beast. Gonna, I was gonna be something else. But no. Okay, so now we've got to do, do this dude again, and then it's the man in the robot suit. Oh, oh, this guy. So yeah, he's, I, he's I wanted pissed. to thank King Fossil for for the recommendation of us playing this. Yeah. And uh, and screw you. <laughs> Don't recommend any more games. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've sunk in hours practicing at this game, and and it's been humiliating. <laughs> I can't play it anymore. Uh, I just I'm not what it used to be. <laughs> well, uh, what's going on, Gary? I'm keeping up with you. I haven't been practicing. You keep well, it well. Always well, keep it up with you. well, it's because you've got your your funky. I got my arcade get, stick out. You've got yeah, your arcade hell yeah. stick out. I'm playing with a with a controller. Yeah, old school. Me. Yeah, I'm taking all the power ups. Ah, uh, what? I need him. I'm brownie. Oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, <laughs> no. That was bad timing. Oh shit! Oh, that was you. What? what I the, did I just auto die? I think so. No, no, it was me who auto died. I don't know. 
Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you can still get over here, Jeff. You can still make it. Okay, just time you jump. Just make you, come on. Yeah. All right. All right. Here we go. Take a spin. And we're going to come down for the boss. <sighs> All right. I need to change weapon. That's a terrible weapon. You got... What, what, just standard again? weapon. That, yeah. that that weapon is just crap. Look, it's like a it's like a boxing glove on a spring. Right. It's terrible. Right. Oh shit! He's gonna just, kill just, you. God damn it! He just did that to me just now. And he's just gonna he's stand just gonna, there. He's, gonna, he's the, going his way. Yeah. But you never know whether he's gonna jump and land on the platform uh, 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 or land behind the platform. Yeah, keeps you guessing. Uh, look out! He's gonna uh, jump over the platform. Oh, oh, I didn't even have to oh. duck underneath that shot. That's oh funny. my god! Yeah, you got a serious advantage oh, as that robot, isn't he? Yeah, Jesus. he's tiny. The boy. Okay, what's happening? What's happening? Okay, he's gonna uh, split into. He's and he's just flying around. Cut through the whole building. Oh god! Uh, yeah, he can't get he me. Can't get oh god, shit! If we can get you that way. He got me that way. <laughs> oh, fuck it! Fuck this game! <laughs> fuck Contra Hard Corps! Fuck Konami <laughs> for cancelling Silent Hills! Fuck! <laughs> yeah, not playing this, this anymore. Fuck this game, guys. Fuck this it. is ridiculous. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If anybody did, <laughs> no, don't please don't comment about it. <laughs>